for me when playing Dying Light 2. I think the game is the most fun when it doesn't spell out to you in a UI with numbers how much damage you're doing to a zombie or tell you how much danger you're in. So, let's turn off the HUD. And I promise you'll have twice as much fun as if you would otherwise. So first I'll show you how the game works when you got all the hard options on. Okay, as you approach a zombie, see what type of zombie it is, level of the zombie, how much health he has left, and the amount of stability. If you play it this way, the game tells you exactly how many hits you need to kill the zombie, how many hits you need to completely destabilize it so it falls on the ground, and how effective the current weapon is you're using. Now let's see what happens if we change that. Okay, we go to UI. What you want to turn off is zombie health and status. Damage numbers. Press escape, save. Okay, now let's take a look at how the game functions when you play with these hard items off. This isn't going to get the attention of this zombie. This is a zombie with a mostly intact face. Now, as, as before, as I'm kicking him to reduce his stability, I have no idea how much stability he has left and how, how much effect my kick had. Which means I have to actually read on the character animation how likely is he to topple over. And sometimes the animation is like perfectly aligned, so it's like on the edge of the character toppling over and catching himself. Okay, and this, the same goes for damage. Let's say I'm hitting a character. Now, I have no way to know how much damage the weapon did, whether it was a critical hit. And how many hits are required to kill it. And I actually have no idea if he's dead or not. Well, technically I do have, because you get an XP counter if one dies. But if it's a group of them, you usually will overlook that sometimes. And this is the beautiful thing about playing without it, without a heart, is that the developers put so much effort into giving you this deeply layered gore system. And if you use the numbers, you basically throw half of the gameplay away, because instead of reading the character or the damage on the character that you inflict, to check how damaged it is. You just let the num numbers doing for you. And I think it's a huge waste of gameplay. And the further point on this system is that on a strategic level, if you're fighting multiple zombies, you cannot identify which one is more dangerous because you don't get the level indicator. And that makes you think more strategically, which in some situations might mean you have to consider should I back out of this alley, go into more open space, or can I afford just plowing through them? And here's the last point about turning off the HUD. For example, on this, on this scene, those three zombies, so for in this case, they all have skulls above their head if you have the UI on, which tells you they're extremely dangerous and very hard to kill. And if you got the HUD on, you already know how dangerous they are, you can prepare from a distance, and I think it makes it boring. Or if you walk into the situation, just considering them as normal zombies, and then the situation escalates into some unpredictable epic battle where you improvise and end up fighting with your fists. I think it makes for a much more interesting gameplay experience. If you turn the heart off, I think you'll have twice as much fun as you would have otherwise. And I also recommend trying it if you haven't completed the game yet, right from the start. Because this game is an epic... Um, it's an epic melee combat simulator, if you allow it to be. If you remove all the superficial, casual HUD on top of it, 